damage as well. Got so close to it too. Wow. A neighborhood in Raleigh is pushing back against the city's plan to build a Greenway trail right up against their backyards. That neighborhood is near one of the oldest sections of the Greenway system just off of Millbrook Road by Shelley Lake. The city wants to move the trail to the other side of Mine Creek, taking out two bridges that cross the water. WRAL's Matt Tallhelm talked with people who live in that townhome community as they fight this plan. They've started a petition online that's collected 150 signatures in just a couple of days, and they put these signs up along the trail saying, save these historic bridges. The city's project here would tear down these two wooden bridges that cross the creek here and move that trail out of the woods and within feet of these townhomes. We're going to fight this. A battle that begins in this backyard. We're going to be having land taken. Is now going to Raleigh City Hall. Yeah, this is where the uh, fence is, where is going to be. Stakes in the ground mark the future fence line that would separate Kay Meningus's townhome in the Ridge Loke community from a new section of the Mine Creek Trail. We lose our privacy, our safety. It's so peaceful here. Right now, the trail winds its way through the woods. It's idyllic. That's the perfect word for it. And over two wooden bridges crossing the creek, the city is planning to realign this section of the trail to behind the townhomes. Ridge Loke HOA Board President Deborah Mandoli says the city told them for years that the bridges would be replaced and the trail would stay where it is. It is not replacing a bridge to take our land and take those bridges down and move them onto our property. The city tells WRAL the realignment of the trail bringing it closer to the Ridge Loke community has environmental mental and safety benefits is easier to maintain and is more cost effective. The city says the cost to realign the trail is about a third of the cost to rebuild those bridges and repave the existing trail. They also say it would require removing fewer trees during construction. Matt Tallhelm, WRAL News, Raleigh.